Hello everyone, this is Brady with NVIDIA, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually add overlays such as light leaks, retros, gradients, and tons and tons more. This is all going to be using an online video editor called NVIDIA, so with that being said, let's get started. So once you're actually on the NVIDIA website, you want to go to the top right and go ahead and hit sign up. This is where it's going to ask for your name, email, and password, and then you are good to go. I'm actually going to be uploading my own media for this. We're on blank canvas. If you want to use a template, feel free to do that. But you want to go ahead and hit make a video, and this is where you actually are going to import your clips to have the overlays on. So now that we are back on the editor, I'm just going to go ahead and actually delete these two things, and I'm going to go ahead and upload the media that I'm going to be putting the overlay for. This is going to bring up a trim menu, and you can actually mute your audio clips here and trim it up. I'm just going to be using the full video because I'm really focused on the overlay here. So to actually access your overlays, you want to go on the left side of your screen and find this overlay button. When you actually click it, there are tons and tons to choose from, even like things like confetti, smoke, there's even cool, you know, um, obviously fireworks, things like that, and just really cool filters over here, some retro ones, some different cool spinning effects, even filters, tons and tons of ones to choose from. You guys can continue to scroll and find the one that's going to fit your video scene. So I actually went ahead and threw the confetti effect on here. Now by clicking on it, you're going to be taking into this edit screen where you can simply change the colors or project colors um, off templates but if you see right here there is a color button you can change you can also change how visible it is by just dragging and dropping this so if I didn't want it to be that visible at all and just kind of have like a little bit of an effect here or if I really wanted to have a big effect just by simply clicking on it and dragging it all the way up you can change it right in there so if you wanted to actually put text on your video you're going to see that by default the confetti might go actually across the screen here and that is actually going to mess with your text so all you have to do is actually click here on layers and you will actually see that your overlay is over your text so you want to make sure that the important things that you don't want to be covered by your overlay are obviously on top of it for example your text so when you do that and you get play you will actually see that it has no effect on the actual text and it goes directly under it and when it comes to actually timing when you want your overlays to work you want to click timeline you can see that your overlay is actually right here now it is probably going to be fitting your whole scene so to actually fix that all you want to do is drag the one end feel free to drag it as much as you want so it doesn't actually come in until until, you know it obviously is displayed so for example I'm talking I'm talking I'm talking and then as soon as it actually hits where I drug it to then the overlay starts to play so all you have to do is go into timeline to work with that but once you're done with that all you have to do is go to download and share go ahead and hit export and your video will begin to export for you to use in anything you need there actually is a share menu right here where you can feel free to share it directly from here or download the video right from here if you guys did enjoy this video make sure of course smash that like button go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel hit that notification bell for more amazing tutorials and with that being said, I'm Brady with NVIDIA, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.